Okay, um, I'm making this video after making some of the stills I think that'll show previous, previously in this uh, YouTube video. Um, making this video to show how I actually went ahead and cut the keyway in this gear. Here's the gear itself held under this cap and then there's a base plate here. And I think those showed in the stills previously. So what I've done, I went ahead and indicated the cutter here to be parallel with the x-axis of the Bridgeport mill and then uh, found the center of the gear bore both in the x and y direction and now I've gone ahead and advanced the table so that the cutter is just making a slight scratch cut on the bore and that scratch cut indicates to me that yes I'm on center and that the cutter is square because it made two equal scratches um, on that bore. Next thing to do is to advance the table uh, just a little bit. I'm going to zero the X over here so I know where I am. So now we're zeroed out there. We're going to go back and I'm going to advance the table just a little bit so that the uh, cutter will now make about a two thousandths cut, I presume. So back to the cutter here. Um, we'll just use the um, lever arm and push down and sure enough I could feel it make just a little bit of a cut. Now we'll go back and I'll advance just again a little bit. You have to take my word for it that we're going about two thousandths because we're not going to pan back and forth to the DRO. But in so doing now, we're just going to go ahead and um, make some cuts. Now you can pan around and we'll see some of the chips that we form and the groove uh, that is being made as we make those successive cuts. I'm going to continue that way until I have this cut about 97 thousandths deep. That's the depth of the keyway in the original Monarch gears. And I'm going to determine that depth using this um, device here just to kind of confirm the depth. I'm going to use my DRO digital readout as the primary way to tell. But between these two marks is the range of depths um, from on the original Monarch years. Um, for instance, if I measured here and then just felt when I was uh, even with the bore of that gear, it's about there, about midway between those marks. Well, I've completed cutting the keyway now, both in width and in depth. You can see using this little shop-made gauge that the depth is midway between those marks, and that's just about what my target was. And when I feel back and forth here, I can just feel that it's flush. And then here's the actual uh, key that's going to go in that slot, and um, it's, a, it's a nice fit in there. Um, just slides through there, but it is not a sloppy fit either. Just, I think, just about right. So that's it. That's how we, uh, how I cut that uh, keyway without having a brooch, but just using a simple uh, shop-made cutter um, that I detailed um, in uh, some posts on Practical Machinist, and you can take a look at that if you want to know more about how this uh, cutter was made. Thank you very much. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sure was fun uh, doing this, and I'm very, very pleased with the results. It really worked out well, better than I expected to some extent. Thank you.